Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a kissy kissy kiss brush in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode is gonna be so fun. It's brought to you by a fan. Someone asked, can you make show us how to make a kiss brush in Photoshop? So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Now, in preparation for today's episode, we applied some of this beautiful lipstick uh, to one of our lovely assistants here at the studio, and uh, basically just put the lipstick on and then kiss this piece of paper a couple of times. So we've got a couple of different kisses to choose from. Now, we went from here and scanned these images on a scanner. So that's what we're gonna be working on to start off in Photoshop. But if you don't have a scanner, you can just take a picture with your iPhone or another camera or whatever. The idea is just basically put some lipstick on, take a picture of your kisses on a piece of paper, and you're good to go. We're gonna show you how to turn those kisses into a custom brush and then how to apply that custom brush on a photo for an awesome kiss effect. All right, let's jump into Photoshop. So here's the same piece of paper, we scanned it in, and here's what we've got in Photoshop. Now, the first thing we need to do is analyze our different kisses. We need to find what is the best kiss of them all, and uh, I think this is our best kiss here. So what we're gonna do is grab our lasso tool, and we're gonna go ahead and make a circle around it, and we're gonna cut it out of the background. So let's make a circle around that. Hit Control or Command J to duplicate that to a new layer. So we can see, basically, just made a selection, put it on a new layer. Okay, now let's hit Command T. There we go, and we're gonna just rotate that right around so we have a really nice kiss. There we go, looking good. So we have our kiss. Now if we wanna do a little bit of a touch up work, we can go ahead and do this on this layer. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. Let's make our background invisible so we don't, we don't see that anymore. Okay, and I'm gonna hit J for my healing brush tool, and we're just gonna heal some of these little spots right around the edges. There we go. All right, you know what? In, if you're using the healing brush tool, sometimes it's gonna blur like that. So in this case, I'm actually going to undo that and we're gonna use our clone stamp tool instead because the clone stamp tool will just do a direct copy of whatever you sample. So it won't blur your edges like that. This is gonna allow us to clean up the edge of our kiss just a little bit. There we go. Clean it up there and right down there. So we have a nice clean kiss for our Photoshop brush. All right, this is gonna be so fun. Okay, so that's our brush. Now we're gonna right click on this layer and now I'm gonna go to duplicate layer and we're gonna go to a new document. So we're gonna put this layer on a new document. Okay, now here's the key with creating a custom brush. Basically, whatever you want your brush to be, you want it to be black or very dark gray and you want your background to be white. So what we need to do is get this kiss to look like it's black on white. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off by desaturating this layer. So we're gonna go to image, adjustments, and then down here to desaturate. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna hit Control or Command L to bring up our levels. Now with our levels, I can choose my white point. So let's click here and choose my white point. There we go, so that's gonna be white. And then we're gonna click here on our midpoint and I'm just gonna make this really nice and dark. All right, and hit okay. So that's what our little kiss is going to look like. All right, now let's go ahead. I'm gonna create an adjustment layer. We'll go to solid color and I'm gonna create a white solid color adjustment layer. Let's just pull this underneath. There we go. So we've got our kiss on a white background. Now you're gonna see we do have some of like the little bits of paper left in the kiss. We wanna get rid of those if we can, okay? So let's go ahead and put a layer mask on this layer, and then we're gonna paint black with a regular soft edge brush here. All right, there we go. And I'm just gonna paint black right around the edges here because we wanna get rid of this, just so you guys can see all this like texture and stuff like that from the piece of paper. We just wanna get rid of that or that's gonna show up on our brush. And again, we don't want that to show up. We only want our kiss to show up. All right, so just going right around our image. Again, all I'm doing is painting black with a paintbrush on a layer mask, and that's hiding these areas. All right, 
So getting it nice and cleaned up. And by the way, in this episode, we're doing a, uh, a kiss, but you can follow this exact same steps for making any custom brush in Photoshop. Doesn't matter if you're doing a kiss or something else. You can use all the same steps. All right, there we go. Cool. All right, and that is a really nice kiss. Okay, so now that we have our kiss, again, the kiss itself is black and the background is white, which is perfect for a custom brush. So let's go ahead and crop this in and then create our custom brush. So I'm gonna hit my crop tool, C for the crop tool, and then I'm just gonna make a circle right here around our kiss. There we go. And I might rotate that just a little bit as well. All right, hit enter, and that's our kiss. So now we need to turn this into a brush. We're gonna go to edit, and then down to define brush preset. Okay, and here we can see there's actually a preview of our kiss there, and I'm just gonna call this kiss and hit okay. So we just created our custom kiss brush. Now let's go ahead and pop over to an image and show you guys how to use it. All right, so we're gonna go to our next image here and I went ahead and pulled this off of Adobe stock. And you can see if I click on my brush tool here, we automatically have the outlines for our kiss brush. Now, if you don't see that, just right click and you go all the way down to your very last brush and that's gonna be your kiss brush. All right, now here all I have to do is start clicking around my image and you're gonna see my kisses show up. Now, in this case, I wanna bring my flow and my opacity of my brush all the way to 100% so we can see them as big as they are. All right, let's go ahead and delete those. Now, if you wanna make this a specific color, you can see right now the color is white. Well, it's easy to do. Because this is a custom brush, just hold Alt or Option and you can sample the color. So for instance, if I sample those lipstick color there, okay, and I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger. There we go. Now we're sampling and painting with the exact color on her lips, which is really, really fun. Now I'm gonna go through, we're gonna make this just a little bit more fun here. We're gonna go to window and down to brush. Okay, and next we're gonna turn on scattering, which is gonna allow us to just scatter these kisses all around. So as I paint, we got a whole bunch of kisses right there. That might be a little bit too much. So let's go to our brush tip shape. We'll bring up our spacing. There we go, so it doesn't have as many. Now we're gonna click on shape dynamics. I'm gonna bring our size jitter up as well. So we got a bunch of different size of kisses as well. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like on this layer. So if I paint around, there we can see now as I paint, I've got all these different kisses all over my image. All right, which kind of cool actually, but I think I like the original one a little bit better where I was controlling that. So let's go ahead and undo that. We're gonna deselect and then we're just gonna pop a couple of kisses right here on this image. And again, this is a totally regular brush. So if you wanna just change your color, you want some white kisses in there, you can get that in there as well. All right, and there we have our custom kiss brush done in Photoshop. Now as a bonus, we have this brush available for download on flurn.com. Just follow the link in the description right down below. And that's it guys, just follow these key steps for recreating a kiss brush on your own. First of all, you need to create that kiss. So put some lipstick on and kiss a piece of paper a couple of times. That's gonna capture your kiss. Next, it's time to scan your image or you can take a picture with your camera phone or your digital SLR, whatever you have. Basically, you just need to get that piece of paper into your computer. Next, it's time to find the best kiss. Go ahead and circle it with your lasso tool and duplicate it to a new layer. Next, we're gonna take this to a new document and we're gonna desaturate and use our levels adjustment tool. We wanna to make sure the background is completely white and we wanna make sure our kiss is black. Now to create the brush, go to edit and down to define brush preset. Whatever you have in your image is going to turn into a custom brush. Now it's up to you to use this in your image. Remember, this is a brush like any regular brush, so you can just simply choose any color you want and paint away. And as a bonus, we're offering this exact brush for download on flurn.com. Just go to flurn.com slash lipstick or follow the link in the description right down below. And if you love Photoshop and photography as much as I do, go ahead and click on your screen right about now. We'll send you free Photoshop and photography videos every single week. And if you have an idea for an episode or a question or comment about today's episode, leave it right down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll flurn you later. All right. So now we've created our custom breast. Let's ugh. Kisses for everybody. <laughs> All right. Man, messed it up right at the end.
Kisses for everybody. Dunzo madunzo.